Game eight is in the books. It was dicey early on, but then a franchise record, 144 points for in this one. The score, 123, Raptors over the Sacramento Kings. Their record now improves to two and six. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Raptors Nightcap. Randy Urban with you, and I'm joined by Jack Armstrong, Leo Routens, Paul Jones. Fellas, good to get a win. Always good to get back. Uh, I, I thought they played with great energy in the last game, Randy. This time it translated into a win. Yeah, very, very confident after that first quarter, you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I, I want to talk. Giving up 90% from the like floor. Yeah. Wow, what a, what a turnaround. But, hey, take it. Take it and enjoy it. Okay, Leo, for sure then. When the lead ballooned to 19, what were you thinking? My thoughts initially were, okay, the Kings aren't going to shoot 90% the whole game. No, no. So they're just not stay shoot close. That. You're right, but it also the Kings are not a good defensive team, right? So you're just hoping you can kind of hang around and and hang around. And all, when when I you know ultimately when you're at 11 points, I said you know what this is okay. You're okay. You just got to find a way to to maintain right here, tighten up your defense a little bit, keep keep moving the ball, keep doing a lot of things you're doing, and you're okay. Uh, but early on though, it was it was a little scary. Hey, yeah. Sorry, go, go ahead. ahead. I was just going to say, what do you think the key was to the response? You know, they turned a, a big run by the Sacramento Kings into a huge run by the Raptors. Oh, I, th I think they got ticked off, and they said enough is enough. We're going to guard people now because their defense early on was non-existent. They were giving up the paint uh, like you wouldn't believe, and uh, the defense got better every quarter. They held them to 31 in the second, 29 in the third, and 20 in the fourth. So it got better as the night went on. They got more committed to it. And, you know, they got to look in the mirror and say, you know what? Quite frankly, we're not good enough to just run up and down and outscore people. Uh, we got to get down and get dirty and get dirt under our fingernails. And the way our team is good is when we really get after people and guard. And now you run and the ball flies around and you have fun. I mean, but it takes effort. And I, I thought, you know, Jonesy made a good point. You know, the Phoenix game. Uh, we did the game together on the radio the other night. I, I said it. They, even though they lost, they were that much closer to winning. I felt good mm -hmm. about the loss. And then tonight, uh, the first seven, eight minutes were horrendous. But beyond that, they played their hearts out. And you know what? You can, some nights you'll win, some nights you won't. But I'll take that effort every night. Jonesy, uh, wonderful game from Boucher. We're going to talk about Fred and, um, and, and Norm starting tonight, but I want to talk Boucher first. You could really see his confidence growing with every game, every time he steps on the floor. He was fantastic tonight. This was a good, this was a good type of game for him. I mean, Alex Len started and played five minutes, and it was pretty obvious the game was going to go up and down, and Alex, Nick didn't want Alex to be a spectator in the center circle, just kind of figure out which way you're going. So he, he goes to Boucher. I thought Boucher did a terrific job. Um, you never have to worry about the energy that Chris plays the game with. And now he's, be, he's, he's beginning to find his spots, be more comfortable, um, you know, stepping out, shooting threes. He's protecting the rim. I, I thought this was the perfect matchup and the perfect kind of game for him. And I tell you what, Yuta Watanabe did a terrific job coming in and playing with great energy off the bench. Don't look at the numbers. Look at the effort that this kid expended. And, and, and just the things that he would do that doesn't show up in the box score. And, and, you know, we saw Chris Boucher doing those things earlier and last year, and maybe both of those guys will get more time. But I thought when they were on the floor, they both did a really good job. Leo, you're, the, you're our res man. Uh, what do you do with Boucher now? Do you keep him in this role, or do you think about possibly going small starting him? No. No, I don't know how you don't play him. Uh... You know, look at the nature of this league. Uh, some of the teams you're going to be playing, you know, uh, you know, Golden State. Golden State's a quick team. They got a young big man, uh, and Chris Boucher is effective, right? He comes in, he plays. The game changed, started to change when Chris Boucher came in. Um, he's playing smarter. He's not shortening the aggressiveness whatsoever. He's get, you know, he's not. I, I said this. He's not a traditional rim protector, but he blocks shots, right? He gets a piece of shots. He changes shots. Uh, I don't know how you don't keep him on the floor right now in light of uh, 
you know, the impact he's having and how other guys are playing. Hey, by the way, Randy, I got to call you out a little bit. You got to do a little more research on your basketball. You call Leo, the resident big man. Leo was a spectacular play. He was a point forward. He was ahead of his time. <laughs> and quite frankly, if we had the modern technology medicine wise that we do now, he would have played a dozen or more years in the NBA and made a lot of money. He would have owned the team at this point. Okay, <laughs> yeah. so, so Randy, do your homework. He wasn't some slug big guy with his back to the basket. He was schooling people with skill. Am I right, Jonesy? You are. You are right. And, and so much so that he was ahead of his time. We used to see him playing on the outside and say, man, get your butt down near the hole. Little do we know the revolution will not be televised, right? So he's just slow now. That's my mistake. No, I'm old. I'm old now. I'm Randall. Still I'm still kicking. Randall. <laughs> Randall, here's the rule. The longer you retired, the better you were. There you go. There you go. That's right. That's right. Uh, I was a two-bit player at this point in my career. But just wait. Just wait. Uh, Jack, I want to talk about Malachi Flynn, Terrence Davis, and, and Jonesy mentioned Utah Watanabe. I, I will get to Norman Fred, I promise. But those three guys were exceptional. They were great. Uh, you know, Terrence Davis played with a lot of confidence. Uh, if you remember, uh, Flynn and Davis uh, – uh, Nick Nurse, I thought, rolled the dice. He went late third quarter and closed the quarter with those guys. And they did a great job. Then he started the fourth quarter with those guys. Even though there's no fans there, it's still a road game. And those guys played great. They were just terrific, both of them. They played with poise. Uh, Terrence Davis uh, had one crazy move when he went inside, tried making a play when it wasn't there. But overwhelmingly, he took what the game gave him. And Malachi Flynn... That young man knows how to play. I'll tell you what, the kid Halliburton on uh, the Kings, he's really good as well. Those are two good young guards that I love. And, I, and Jonesy made the point about Watanabe. That kid plays hard. He's not going to give you a ton of offense, but he's long. He's athletic. He's got quick feet. Uh, he's good. And, and I know you want to talk about the bench, but I, I give a shout out. You might think I'm nuts. This is one of the best games I've ever seen Pascal Siakam play. He had close yeah. to a triple-double. His passing tonight and his reads on defensive coverages, it was excellent. He was a basketball player tonight. Mm -hmm. Do you agree? For me, it was just nice to see him keeping it simple. I feel like I've seen that now two games in a row. Yeah. Like He's getting to a spot. He's, he's finishing with confidence, and he's not trying to do too much, which is what we saw early on, I think. Well, I, I, you know, I think you guys have said it before. He simplified the game. He's, yeah. he's, he's being aggressive, and he's looking to score, and then all of a sudden, the reads are coming off that. I'm going to do something. I'm going to force you to react and see what you give me. I'm either going to finish it, or I'm going to find a teammate. And, and I thought he played, he played very well on the catch tonight. That's something that mm -hmm. Chris Finch has talked about, and he'd catch it and go. Or he'd, he'd get a matchup in the low post, and he'd take his time. And And this is the Pascal that we're used to seeing and he's going to make, he's going to make it easier for himself and a lot of his teammates. If he keeps this up. Yeah. There was a great moment there in the second quarter where he had um, Bagley on him and he could have very easily just risen up and taken a 15 footer, decided to go at him, finish it off the glass, two points. Just, I thought like exemplified his play tonight, but Leo, it's really nice to see when Norm and Fred are asked to do more that they do do more and they deliver. That's obviously well, a good thing. Yeah, uh, let me let me just make this point that if Pascal is Pascal, the way we expect him to be, and Norm does what we expect him to do, you know Fred's there. Fred's in that conversation. It changes what other people do, yes, how yes. other people play, right? It's going to impact everybody. The game becomes easier. The shots become easier. The movement is better. Uh, how the defense reacts to what's going on is better. So you got you, you really can't you can talk about all the bench and everything else, but the fact that the core guys can are now starting to come together and play, it's impacting everybody. I mean, Fred, Fred, steady, Freddie, man. That simple as that. He's steady, Freddie. He makes it happen. The the numbers he has without Kyle are, are incredible. Uh, the, the 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 how they win, how he plays, and so forth. 
Norm, I thought, just played a, just a really smart, aggressive game. And that was the closest to Norm of last year that we saw. Uh, and like you're saying, Pascal's – like I'm looking at Pascal go, I know this guy. Like this is the guy I know right now. So right. that's impacting everybody on the floor. Jack, we got about a minute and a half left in the show. Uh, I just want to keep going there with Fred. Uh, obviously, he's learning from one of the best in, in Kyle Lowry. But are you even a little bit surprised at how uh, how he's able to put so many points on the board? No, uh, because he, he's put the time in it throughout his life. And when, when he gets uh, greater usage, he's prepared for it because he's highly skilled and he's a pro and he gives a T on both ends. Jack, is this a pace that you think they should try to replicate going forward, or is it more like let's just focus on the defense? Like tonight we gave up 120 again, four straight games. Well, they got to focus on the defense, but style of play dictates the the scores. I don't worry about that. Um, The the reality is they got to make a decision. What are you going to do with Baines and Lynn? If you're not going to play them, then you got to play this way. Jonesy going into Golden State, that one. Well, I think they play with the same intensity and the same enthusiasm and energy. Um, they had everybody contribute. And, and, you know, Leo talked about it. When your best players are playing well, it makes it easier for everybody. And I tell you, the confidence level rises too. And I, and I think you take this, bring it to Golden State with the play of Pascal, Fred. You're hopefully going to get Kyle back. Norm playing the way he is. I, I I think you're in good standing, and it's just nice to get a win, feel good about things, and get back on the winning track. All right, that's it for us. Thanks, guys. See you next time. Good night. Thanks for watching. You can click to watch our last episode or to subscribe to the Toronto Raptors YouTube channel so you don't miss an episode.